Hello and welcome to Castanet Penticton's Mayor's Minute. I'm Colin Daker, joined by the Mayor here, Andrew Jacobi. On Wednesday night, the Penticton RCMP's new commander, Ted DeJagger, held his first kind of public engagement with the uh, with residents. He town hall at the Penticton Training Convention Center. About 250 people showed up. Uh, he presented some ideas uh, um, around a new mental health officer, a program he's calling the Hub, um, some of his focuses on uh, on his own people and uh, and the like. What did you think about the presentation? Um, I think it was good. I, I think uh, I've lived here 25, 26 years. We've never had a you know town hall meeting and, and had the superintendent sort of lead that and and you know. Uh, lay out sort of his strategy or his philosophy and also take uh, questions and concerns and, and certainly uh, the latter part of the evening there, there was some frustrations or concerns and I think it's good uh, for the, the superintendent and the other people uh, in his team from the RCMP to, to hear that but also some of the other elected officials and other agencies that interact with the police uh, to hear that and, and hopefully uh, be able to turn that into you know some solutions moving forward. He talked about um, having a mental health officer because so many of uh, their responses are, are dealing with mental health to some degree and addictions and so to sort of uh, have uh, someone versed with mental health to sort of ride along with the officer I think would be uh, a real efficiency and, and uh, enable officers to spend more time on, on other crimes uh, that are in our community. I think that's good and also working with other agencies to get uh, services for people that are that are in need and that aren't uh, uh, being taken advantage of or, or uh, r really suffering from addictions and, and um, it's probably actually cheaper than the reactive uh, methodology that's been sort of the old school way of thinking. So he also pitched a the return of the public safety committee um, would probably involve the city. How else can uh, the city I guess support the RCMP on this? Um, I, I think there, I mean, right now the agencies do exist and do work together, but I don't think they, they work as efficiently as they can and, and sometimes uh, is that lack of communication from one department talking to the other department, uh, whether that's with the city, uh, whether that's with Crown Council, whether that is with uh, some of the other social agencies or interior health and that's, I think, uh, what we've really uh, tasked uh, Superintendent Diager to, to really try to become that catalyst to get all those other uh, groups working together and sitting around in, in a, a room and not just having talk, talks and conversations but actually talking about the chronic offender and how we're going to target that person or persons, uh, talking about the, uh, the mental health patient who or, or the addict who is um, you know a, a chronic uh, uh, touch point for a lot of agencies how we can sort of reduce those numbers, get the help that they need, or really target uh, those people and get those uh, bad apples out of, the, out of the mix, off the road, off the street. All right, thanks. That's this week's Mayor's Minute. And if you have a question for the mayor you'd like to submit, you can send it to the letters at castanet.net. I'm Colin Baker. Until next time. We've got date night covered. Find movie listings from around the valley under the Our Town button. Click a poster and watch a trailer. <laughs>